<laughs> hey, hey, Batman! Did did you hear? Bromine's got a new comic book video. What's the matter? I, I, I gotta go. Hey, YouTube. Joel Pal Bromine. Hey YouTube, it's your old pal Bromine, back again with a comic book haul, and I know what you're saying, what is this, 2022? No my friends, I actually am making my second video, comic video of the year, uh, comic haul video of the year I should say. I actually went out and found some books around town, and just want to show you what I got here. Got these in three three different spots. First spot, been itching to go to a Comic Con for a while, and the closest thing that we had here in town was an anime anime festival. They called it a swap meet. There was not a lot of comic books there. I did find a guy that had a bunch of long boxes, and they said a dollar a comic. So I went through those, and I found a bunch of books. Uh, it was dollar comic, or I think it was like six for five or something of that nature. He ended up giving me 18 books for, for 10 bucks. I got a bunch of run fillers, things that um, I would only really buy at a dollar or less if I could find them. So let's take a look at those. Uh, I got some uncanny X-Men number 214, uh, number 217, Number 236. I thought that held more value, but I think it's one of the ones right after it. 238. 246. And 249. So I think all in all, I think all these came out to about 55 cents a piece. Um, since he gave me a deal. Next, I got some Legion of the Superheroes. These ones I don't really collect, but they were less than a buck, so I picked them up. Number 274. Strangely, I think I might have that one. I don't have that many. One of these I think I already had. And number 257. Next up, Contest of Champions. This one was beat up. Um, I, I When I opened the bag, I can feel it now. There's just It's got a lot of water damage on it. Um, and I believe the cover was detached so this is going to go in the cell pile and probably try to get a quarter from some from it found an x-men which i think i have number 33 but 55 cents pick it up and then i got some generation x again to kind of fill out my run number 73 Number 61, uh, okay, I think that's 58. Number 57, number 55, number 28, and 21, which I think is a duplicate. Okay, next up, the last one I got here was, again, a run filler, Gen 13, number 52. 55 cent and that was everything I got at the anime swap meet they have postponed our local comic con for the next year so we won't be having one here the official Sacramento comic con 
until March of 2020. So when you see my next comic call video, that's probably where it'll be, where it will be. Anyways, next thing we got here, um, I went, I think it was on a day off. It must've been, yeah, I, I was just running some errands. There's a, what kind of shop is it? It's just a, a you know, place that has a bunch of random stuff. I can't even think what you would call it a consignment shop. It's not consignment though. And they have comic books. Usually they're, they're pretty bad. They're just kind of put in boxes, no bags or boards. And you know, you just kind of look around and hopefully they'll give it to you for 50 cents. So I was looking through and I asked the guy, I hadn't been there for actually a couple years, I think, you know, how much the, the books were. He's like, Oh, those are like $2 each. And I was like, okay, well, that's not, I'm not buying these books. <laughs> they were all, like I said, unbagged. Uh, he said, oh, but the better comics are over here. So I went around the corner and he had like four or five long boxes. And he actually had some good stuff in there. And I think I got a decent deal. They weren't great, but I haven't bought Silver Age in a while. And I was pretty happy just in general that they had them. I had... I'll go ahead and show you the books, and I'll continue the story. Uh, what, not much of a story. It's a uh, a uh, failure in negotiation. <laughs> but anyways, I picked these up. I think they came out to twenty five a piece. They're okay. They're not great. Uh, this first one has some definite creases right down the middle, but they're older books, and I think twenty five, twenty to twenty five is probably around where these would go. In a, in a shop or at a convention. So first one I got it was uh, 37, Avengers 37. Avengers 44, this one's pretty, well, they're both pretty cream, creamy. And Avengers 18. Now there, there were, and he had these marked higher than that. He had these like at 35 a piece or around that. I had three others that I wanted as well. I don't remember what numbers they were. I think the, the lowest number I had in hand was like a number 12. And he had that like at 55. He had a couple other ones. And I was trying to get him, trying to get him to negotiate down to like a hundred bucks for all. I think it was five books because I think it would have came out to 20 a piece. And yeah, I was, I was uh, low balling it. But this guy wasn't a comic book guy. The the actual comic book guy wasn't in. And this guy was just the guy at the store. But I think because of that, he wasn't willing to negotiate. Um, and he just basically gave me, you know, five bucks off a book or whatever it turned out to be. Um, so anyways, uh, that was okay. I'll probably go back there again because they actually had some decent books. And, you know, maybe when the, the actual comic guy is there, I can do some better negotiations. Anyways, okay, last thing, because I'm rambling here. I went to a antique mall, called an antique mall. Don't know what it is. That's actually what the term is, but it's one of those places that it's like a containment place. They have a bunch of little booths for rent, and then people put up their old junk and, and try to sell it. This place is actually pretty cool. They had some neat retro furniture that was in good condition, not just kind of junky stuff that people are trying to get a lot of money for. Uh, from what I was looking at, I wasn't really looking at the furniture, but the couple pieces I looked at, they seemed reasonably priced. Anyways, I should have took some footage, but I didn't. I knew they had comics there. I'd never been, but I'd seen the guy's ad in uh, Craigslist or on Craigslist. And um, he had some books and they were okay. They were picked these up ranging from a dollar to three dollars. No discounts or anything. And there was nobody there to negotiate with. So, but these were... I was itching to buy something, so anyways, I got Hawkeye number three. I believe that's the dead um not Deadpool. Uh, Bullseye Haw Hawkeye. Got that for a buck. X Factor 61 for a dollar. Star Wars number 19 for 350. Thought that was okay. Star Wars 86 for three dollars. That was all from one vendor there. And these next two are from another one. Marvel Triple Action, uh, Avengers Reprints. Number 31, I got that for $3. Gosh, I remember when those were in the quarter bin way back when. 
And then Luke Cage Power Man number 30 for three. Got some definite creases in here. But turns out I have this one. I didn't check my app when uh, I picked it up. But anyways, those are the books that I got. I know one of the local comic shops has kind of put together a nice little 50 cent bargain bin area. So I may hit them up soon. Other than that, there's not a lot going on here. Oh, you know what? I just thought about it. There is a garage con, but basically it's a bunch of people that are, that, you know, have books that want to sell. They'll just kind of get together called a garage con. They advertise it on Craigslist and Facebook. The last one I went to was a, a couple of years ago and it was pretty good. Like I got a couple of good deals. So I think I, I'd like to go again. I don't know if I'm going to go this time. They do it maybe once every other month. So I may wait a little bit. Yeah, but that's it guys. I uh, appreciate you sticking with me. Hopefully um, I can get a, another haul soon. I do want to post up another drawing video. So if you guys want to see more, do me a favor. I'm not going to say smash that like button. I'm just going to say, you know, be nice to it. Give it a nice little gentle push. You don't need to smash everything. Hey, if you have a friend that likes to see haphazard comic vlog videos and maybe a drawing video once every six months, why don't you throw them your old pal Bromine's name? That might be helpful. Anyways, thanks for watching and hopefully I will see you soon. Bye.